<laughs> hey, little horse is horse a dude. nuts there. Big shot of horse nuts. I know, right? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Man, that horse is balls. All I can see are giant horse nuts now. Thank you, Adam, for pointing out the horse ball. Thank you. I really need to focus on the horse ball. all ball. those watching Jed's review blame the horse balls on Adam. I said right it. there. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the memes incoming, I can see them. Yeah, yeah, there's a baby here. <laughs> you guys are sick. I don't want to look at the balls. Are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> See a big black cock meme? <sighs> Thank you for that. The little horse does not let Siri ride him or touch him. He's like, stay away from me. For... Because she wants those balls. See, now you made it weird. <laughs> God damn it, dude. No, no, the show made it weird. Yeah, Plain but he's talking about, I, I never said, I just said, I see them. Now he's talking about tub. <laughs> and the rhino keeps showing up. Fucking <laughs> Adam. God damn it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> little horse is a gelding now. Yes, the little, little horse did yeah. change. Yeah, you can't, you can't see giant horse wing. Oh, the horse has his balls back. Damn nuts. Disgusting. Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and unfortunately since the release of The Witcher Season 3 Volume 2, there's been very little to make videos on in that sphere because there's very little news going on in relation to The Witcher Netflix universe. There might be the occasional interview here, a director coming out and saying he understands why Henry Cavill made the decision and he trusts Henry Cavill's decision and stuff like that. But until the Nielsen data comes out for The Witcher Season 3 Volume 2 sometime next week or the week after, there's not a whole lot to talk about. But the story that is sweeping the internet right now is Siri actress coming out and talking about the unicorn from season three. Now, for those who've been watching my channel for a while, the unicorn left quite an impression upon the panelists that I watched the volume with, many of them getting hyper-focused on the balls. The unicorn balls were in camera a lot, in your face. It was very uncomfortable. It was very weird. And then for some reason in the close-up shots when the unicorn was laying down, they switched it to a female horse, a mare, so that the balls wouldn't be visible. And this story only gets stranger as we have the actress for Siri coming out and talking about what it was like to film those scenes with the unicorn. Not speaking about the balls, obviously, but the unicorn itself. So apparently this unicorn was a circus animal and it left quite an impact on Siri because she, the actress says she got quite oddly intimate with her unicorn co-star. That was not a headline I was expecting to read anytime soon. She got intimate with the unicorn that most people remember, even people who didn't watch the show with me, remember because of the giant swinging balls right in your face, specifically in the close-ups with Siri, the balls were always right over her shoulder. And these are the actual comments she said in a recent to dumb interview. I laid out with it in the desert and literally spooned the bloody horse. It was amazing and it was beautiful. So not only did she feel like it was an intimate moment as the headline suggests, it was amazing and it was beautiful. What the hell? I hope that sarcasm, I haven't seen the video. I assume it's most likely a sarcastic remark, but at the same time, this is the new news we have about the Netflix Witcher universe is an interview where one of the actresses talks about getting intimate with a horse and it being 
beautiful and amazing obviously not in a sexual way but still she spooned the horse now i'm not usually one who makes videos about leaked footage rumors or anything like that but in tandem with this news there was a secretly released section of the episode which featured this unicorn and siri that provides a little bit of context of what the actress and the character is thinking during these scenes as we get some voiceover from Siri's internal dialogue that highlights this strange and apparently intimate relationship between Siri and the unicorn that was most likely cut from the finished episode because of content warning. So I implore you, be warned before watching this rather disturbing footage from Netflix's The Witcher Season 3, Episode 7. Check it out. Oh my god, what fine balls you have. Just look at those massive swinging things. No, please don't leave. I need to get a better look at the balls. Oh thank god. You're back. Let me touch them. No. Please stop teasing me. Look at that bounce. What are you doing? Here let me help you. I'm so close to them. Don't look directly at them or he might run away again Siri. I can't help it. Is this for me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Bouncy. Oh no, it's come to take your balls. No, 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 no. Not the balls. What are you without those beautiful bouncy boogaloo hoogas? God, please. No. I can bring them back. Please, please. No, don't go. I just fixed you. It's just a strange story that I was not expecting. And this is what the Netflix universe has come to. There's not anything to theorize about. No one cares about getting excited about the future of the story. Even theories about how they're going to cover the recast from Henry Cavill to Liam Hemsworth have died out quite suddenly after the release of Volume 2 because nobody cares. This is the biggest story today in relation to the Witcher universe, and it's a fart in the wind. That should really be indicative of the state of this franchise. With or without the departure of Henry Cavill, I do believe this show was destined to fail from the beginning because of Lauren Hishridge, her hiring practices, and now the revelation about how insane one of the executive producers, Tomek McGinsky, is, as his comments far outshine Lauren Hishridge's for utter and complete stupidity. This franchise was doomed from its very inception at Netflix because they never cared for the source material, they never understood it, and they always wanted it to be something that it wasn't. With that foundation, it was doomed to fail with or without the departure of Henry Cavill, and this is a perfect story to epitomize it. The best thing you can talk about in relation to the show after a month of its release in season three is how close you got to a horse playing a unicorn, how intimate you got with it, and how much you enjoyed it. That should really speak volumes. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. Damn nuts. Disgusting.